Hello and welcome to brbbio.com. Um, today's review will be of the Microsoft Sidewinder X8. Um, I'm using Microsoft Mice, but I've never actually got any of the Sidewinders other than the left-handed Sidewinder, which unfortunately no longer works with Windows Vista or Windows 7. Um, so today we will be reviewing the uh, Sidewinder X8. As you can see, this is the uh, box for the Sidewinder X8 for some reason when I purchased mine which unfortunately I went to the cheapest place I could possibly get it and it was only one left um, there is a little bit of damage to the box so you know a little bit of damage to the box you don't worry about that because obviously slightly cheaper price on that uh, box looks a little difficult to get open however I believe this seal here with the funny little arrow on it should do the job Grab this in. Always carry one of these in your wallet. Good for every job. Except for you need your other hand with it. So, this is the seal as you can see. One truly broken. Looks so, like so. That there's a little Halo Master Chief in there. You can see that. Comes in packaging within the packaging, so in theory, that is just excess packaging. You can take that off there. Okay, the mouse comes free. It's actually quite a bulky mouse, but I do like that. Gonna pop that mouse mat over here. I'm actually, in my office, so pardon the mess. Feels nice. Nice responsive feedback. Ooh, especially on the middle. Big, as you can see, there's a big metal scroll wheel in the middle, and you can actually hear it as it goes. Um, look at the plasticky thing. Up on there, I'm guessing that's to protect the SL uh, LCD screen. Two buttons on the side, one at the front, back, forth, left, right on the scroll wheel, front, back on the scroll, left, right click, three buttons. These don't seem to give a lot of feedback, but that one definitely does. So that's the actual mouse out of this box. Let's see what else we've got in here. We have This looks like the uh, wireless receiver. Yep, that's the bit that clips under the front of the mouse there. Three little bits. I believe it's magnetic, so I'll just unravel this. I'm sorry about the quality of the camera on this one. Um, I do aim to get a tripod. So if I. Yep. I didn't even have to go near that then, that just jumped straight in there. Let's do that again. See, there's there's the thing. Not even straight. I'm just gonna I'm actually gonna just edge the mouse close to it. Attaches itself now. I do like that. Uh, yeah, definitely like that. You could just leave it on your desk and then drop your mouse on it and it'll just pick it up itself. That's a good turn, yeah. There's a little box here with a lot of spare feet. You can see. Just little clip on feet. Plenty of them. Different textures, so different surfaces. There's a battery in the box. Get this mouse upside down. Yeah, I know I've got long nails and I will get comments about that, but that's the way I like them. It's good for getting in stuff. Okay, so single battery. Most Microsoft mice that I've had, I've had two batteries. But I suppose when you've got a charger as well, it doesn't really matter. Little on off switch. I think. That's the green. 
and then yeah, nothing happening at the moment, but that's obviously because it's a uh, flat battery which it will come with. Just gonna untie the tie on this cat. Why it's untied? I'm just gonna pop this in my USB port. And then use that magic little connector there. I do like that. Ooh, we've got flashing lights. Very new hardware. Showing me battery charging on the little LCD screen there. Do like that. Oh, mouse actually moves already. I don't know if you can see that. I'm actually just on a piece of paper and that is massively responsive. Uh, just get a website with this one. Great website to bring up there. As you can see the scrolling is actually really good and it's hefty you can hear when you're doing it so you're not going to mistakenly zoom out or zoom in whilst you're on your game um, nice hefty buttons unlike the original sidewinder which I have had a little play at the buttons were like a, a very soft malleable material which was supposed to be uh, capable of you know wear and tear but these are actually solid solid buttons there which I do like incredibly sensitive um, I won't install the software here because the software is, well, it's my works computer and I don't want to do that on my works computer. Uh, but the software does come in a little CD packet here with a sort of a twirly thing in the middle. Let's get rid of that. We get contents manual, Microsoft's CD. Actually runs on IntelliPoint 7, which my old Microsoft mouse ran on IntelliPoint, but I don't know the version. And the instruction manual, which I'm not really going to go through this because I'm waiting for um, permission from Microsoft to actually use their images. And if I do get permission, you'll see the Microsoft logo on the site and various images on the site as well. Um, I really do like the precision of this. Um, I'll probably write a little review afterwards when I've had a little play on Warcraft with it. So uh, thanks for watching.